Well, hello everyone. How are you all doing? In this video, we are going to talk about the iPhone 7 on the iOS 15.2 beta. Well, a lot of you guys seem to be on iOS 15.2 beta on your iPhone 7 and have been facing a lot of problems lately. I am going to talk about each and every problems that you guys are having. And if you want me to talk about your problem, uh, then go ahead on Twitter at the rate tech hyped or comment below this video what problem you have and i will mention your problem in the very next video of iphone 7 review first of all the most important part we are going to talk about is the battery life of iphone 7 on ios 15.2 is it any better than earlier versions like 15.0.1 15.1 as a lot of you guys owning an iphone 7 are considering upgrading to ios 15.2 beta as it is almost on the final stage as apple is about to release the rc the next update apple will release will be an rc of ios 15.2 hopefully fingers crossed and it will happen as soon as next week on tuesday yes holiday season is right around the corner but black friday sale is now live and you are watching a tech channel so you know what a vpn is i don't think so i need to sit here and talk about vpn all that much they are offering you up to 69 percent off just 2.50 dollars for a month black friday deal you can see this is a steal like go ahead and get one like 69 percent off it's a really nice deal isn't it the top link in the description and you can get your privado vpn subscription it is really darn cheap and you for money at the same time i am using privado vpn that's why i am here talking about it and recommending you guys to get it and the fact that it is so cheap right now go ahead and get it link in the description fingers crossed again the battery life really sucks even on the ios 15.2 beta it should not be uh, anything better than ios 15.1 or 15.0.1 just because it is still in beta stages yes it is about to get in the rc and final stages but a beta is just not good in terms of battery life and especially on older devices like iphone 7 though you can follow some battery saving practices that i have talked about in my previous videos i will link it below the like button talking about some good news which is performance the performance performance on iphone 7 on ios 15.2 seems to be a bit better talking about geekbench numbers because some people seem to really be into these geekbench and uh, personally to be honest i don't really like talking about geekbench numbers to describe performance of a device on this channel but as you guys are interested into knowing the geekbench scores here are the geekbench scores the geekbench scores on the iphone 7 on the ios 15.2 show that it is about 8 percent better in terms of performance which is a big number you know eight percent is a big number it may be that apple did throttled the performance of the iphone 7 as the numbers are the same as it was on the ios 14.6 so it may be that when I, iOS 15 got rolled out for some reasons, Apple did throttle the performance of iPhone 7 just uh, so that iPhone 7 remained cool. And uh, as a lot of people were having heating issues, so they may maybe dropped the performance of iPhone 7. And now they are not throttling the performance anymore. So this is a really big news. I did notice it is like really, really noticeable when you update to iOS 15.2. The performance is in fact better on iOS. 15.2 now some people were still having heating issues on their iphone while using uh, it on charger and uh, while using it on uh, low power mode and uh, while gaming on their devices well gaming and charging that is normal don't worry guys if you are having heating issues while you are gaming or while you are using your phone when it's on charger it is normal even my iphone 12 heats up when i game on it or when it is on charger do not worry that's not an issue but what is an issue is when your device is on low power mode and it is heating up just try restarting your device once or twice if that does not fix your problem only way to permanently fix this issue then is to hard reset slash reset your device to the factory settings and then 
get your data back from the restore section of finder slash itunes on windows well that's pretty much it for this video there is not a lot to talk about on the ios 15.2 on iphone 7 yes it it does have those app tracking and all those new features but still those are really minor and in my opinion those are still not really a big deal as of now as it is supposed to be gray it is gray for a lot of people and as soon as it will be not gray for a lot of people that apple will uh, release it to public and uh, that gray thing on the uh, settings on the app tracking will be gone i will talk about it on the iphone 7 because it is great out for me too well that's pretty much it for this video thank you so much for watching this video if this video was informative helpful and entertaining consider hitting that subscribe button like the video and uh, peace out <laughs>